So this is the new online editor for Command Panels version 4 that came out alongside it. Uh, it's got a lot of new features and I'll go over how to use all of them, or most of them, for this tutorial. Um, this is going to be the screen that you'll see when you first open the editor if you haven't used it before. So you can import a panel and put in your configuration. Um, I'm just going to do a new panel. It's going to be an inventory panel. We'll do that one first. So you'll see there's two sections and the one on the left can actually go back and forth. You'll see uh, panel settings is on the left side and then you've got component settings on the right. And then over here is just the preview. Uh, we can view the configuration or just go back to the uh, preview of the panel. So we'll start off with the title. I'll just recreate one of the example panels for this one. Um, I'll go up here and you can see all of the colors. So I'll just go and choose dark aqua. Make it bold and server selector. Okay, now that the title's done, uh, we just need to add a few more settings to the panel. So you can just click on this plus to add more settings. And we'll choose a setting, we're gonna choose rows. Uh, we won't need any of the others for now. We'll add rows and we'll choose three. I'll actually just for demonstration, choose commands. So this is going to be the command you can use to open the panel. I'll just make that servers. Um, now we'll go back over to the items. I'll make our first item. This will be for the mini games. And mini games will make a ender pearl. And you can just click on the slot you want to put it. I'll put it right there. Okay, uh, I put the name in and I'll just add a lore as well. I think we'll be good just with those two settings. Okay, so the name and lore is done. If you hover over the item, you'll see the name and lore appear in a tooltip. Uh, now we want to assign a command to this item, so just click plus under command actions. We want to choose, if I choose actions, it'll just work when you use any click. You can use left click, right click, so on. Um, doesn't matter, so we'll let them use any click. We'll go over to commands, and I don't have bungee cord or anything on this server. We're just going to have it send a message for demonstration. You'll be able to find all of the command tags you can use on the uh, documentation. So I've just gone ahead, moved a few things around and done the same thing again, but just made four items using the add item option. So we've got hub, survival, skyblock, and then mini games here. Um, we want to put some glass panes all around and fill those empty slots. So I'm just going to click on plus um, and just make that background be whatever you want. Alright, black stained glass pane just for the material. We go back over to panel settings. And you'll have a layout configuration where you can choose uh, more advanced features with the slots. You'll be able to apply logic here. Um, now for the slots, you have options to swap them around. So you'll see if I click on these arrow, it'll swap these two slots. And I can swap anything around. Uh, I want to apply the background item. So for the selected slot, I'll just type in fill. And then as soon as I add that, we've got all of our background slots added. Now, when you're ready to export your panel, you can just click export here. And then 
that copies the clipboard and just take that put it into a file in your panels folder um, and then we'll be able to give it a try so I'll just move over and do that now okay so I've got everything up here I've just put this into the command panels panels folder given it a name inventory and that will be the panel name as well the file name you can see all of the items here so you got the fill item and then all of the items we've made and this is all of the uh, details for each item so just type in slash pa reload that'll reload the plugin slash pa open and then inventory that's the panel name and there you go you've got the panel you can click the items and it sends the message as it should over to the dialogue panel so we'll just click start new and go to dialogue now we just give this dialogue a title and we'll just make a basic dialogue that simply asks you to enter a value and then it just returns that value into the text uh, chat bar. We'll just uh, do an input example here. Make that an input type. And we'll give that a name, just enter the input value below. You've got a few options you can do with inputs as well as all of the others. You'll be able to assign an initial value that's in the text box, the maximum length the text box can be, and then you can also make the text box multi-line, have multiple lines of text and so on. Um, and you'll see every single type has different options so for example range will let you assign a value for the highest and lowest option and then the number that it starts with so that's a number slider that's all we'll need here assign that to the top we'll make a new button <clears throat> Example button. We'll give that a name. So this will be the name that's on the button. Confirm. And we can also give it a tooltip. Click to confirm. Now we have to make an action happen when we click the button. You can see that there's no actions allowed on inputs because we need to put them on buttons. When you click the button, the action gets sent. So we'll add a command. Message, your input was. Now we can see the name of the item is input underscore example. So all of the inputs are stored into session data. So we'll just type in command panels underscore session underscore example or input example so we just put the item name right there input example um, now we'll need to add the button so we'll just select the button type in one and put that button in we'll export that into the game and give it a try the file there and named it dialogue so we'll reload the plugin and open the dialog. I did not to do that right. Gone ahead and actually saved the file. We just reload the plugin and open the dialog. There we are. Just enter an input into the value box. So we'll put in hello there. Confirm. And you can see the click to confirm tooltips displayed that we entered. And there you go, your input was hello there. Um, since this is session data, you can pretty much use this input wherever you want until the player leaves the server. So you can easily have an inventory panel, open a dialog to enter input, go back to the inventory panel and have that input used in the inventory panel. It's very flexible. Okay, for the last panel, I'm just gonna go over floodgate panels briefly. Now, these ones are only for Bedrock players, 
and you have to have Geyser, MC, and Floodgate installed properly on the server for it to function. We'll make a simple uh, panel, just going to be like a player settings panel. There we go. We'll make it a custom Floodgate. So you've got the option of simple and custom. Simple is only for buttons, and then custom is going to be for um, all of your inputs. So we'll do a custom one there. Language chooser. We'll make this a drop down. And you can choose maybe a few languages. Something like that. And then the actions that will run. So on every floodgate GUI, um, all of the actions are going to run for every single input, so it's different to a dialogue. Um, so we're going to run actions on this one here. They also do go to the session data, just the same. So language chosen is... And the item name, which is language chooser. Chooser. Okay, um, we'll just have to put that in at number zero. There we go, we've got the slider with the drop down there. So I'm just gonna import it and we'll give it a try. That's into a file in the panels folder and I've actually saved it this time. So I'm just gonna open that onto our bedrock player here. There we go. You can see we can choose all of the options and then press submit, language chosen is German. So our inputs worked properly. All right, um, that will be all for today. I hope that was helpful. If you need any information on all of the settings that you found in the editor, you can just find them through here on all three of the panel types. So you can hit configuration for each panel type that will have all of the panel settings in a list and then choose on the components or items in that panel type and then find all of the options and how they work and what you should enter in each of the text boxes.